I'm coming with a video, and this video is a warning video to parents, um, especially if you have kids. This is to everybody, but especially if you have kids. God gave me a dream slash vision last year, and I was like in my old apartment back in Dallas, Texas, and outside the window, I was like in the house with me and my brothers and sister. And I opened the blinds open and there was a row of witches on horses. And they had all black on, they had black makeup, black nails, and it was all on like black horses. And so I was like, the heck, what's going on? And so it was like a two part that God revealed to me about that. Like he told me that this happened last year. He gave me this vision last year. It's going to be a rise of witches like very boldly doing their stuff and a rise of witches attacking us as believers and attacking our babies because they know, especially during Halloween, we fall for the okie doke. As Christians, we are not supposed to celebrate Halloween. I don't care about dressing up. I don't care about the candy. Like, do not eat the candy that they are putting out around this time. And we are taking the candy, like for years we have, taking candy freely neatly for years from strangers and god is like we need to wake up we need to put on our full armor of god like these witches are not playing like they are realizing that christians are standing up christians are aware of their uh anointing and calling and they really are after christians and they're after god jesus holy spirit led people and they are after our kids i saw a video where a woman she said that another woman literally made a tiktok and said and let me tell you something if you don't think that's real of teachers who are witches, like, that is a real thing. Like, this lady admitted that basically she be in classroom and in the spirit realm, witches deal in the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, she said she was throwing darts at the kids. Now, that means, throwing darts can mean several things. However, uh, witches do they, like, voodoo, whatever, towards kids. But she said, hold on, she said that she was throwing darts in the spirit towards kids hitting them with sickness, hitting them with, like, whatever, right? And she said on some kids, she saw that in the spirit realm, some, some of them was covered by the blood of Jesus. And so in this time, we need to literally be praying for our kids. Like, she admitted on a TikTok. So you don't think it's other witches in y'all kids' school and in these grocery stores and these companies, like, that's doing the same thing? Like, this is real life. Like, we need to stand up. We need to get up. We need to fight for our kids. And so, God put on my spirit that one, that dream meant there's going to be a rise of witches, not not only coming up against me because of my calling. Um, he revealed to me that even family members are witches and they're trying to come up against me. And I can't even hang around certain family members no more. Can't talk to certain family members no more. And then, he revealed to me also that this year... Um, and this year on, it's going to be very serious, like as far as witchcraft and our kids getting hit with spiritual attacks, the parents getting hit, hit with spiritual attacks is because we are being naive and God said we, we lack due to not knowing, you know? And so, and then some, sometimes we do be knowing as the parents, but we rather, we be knowing as the parents and we'll sit there and be like, Oh, it, it's nothing. It's like irrelevant. It's, it's not important. So I'm not going to phase it. Everybody's being dramatic. Like we be knowing certain stuff, but we play it off because we just naive and we really don't want to seem like we're oh super religious or super spiritual. Like God is calling for his prayer warriors. God is calling for his intercessors. God is calling for his prophets, preachers and teachers, evangelists to literally stand up for yourself. Stand up for your kids. Like this is serious. Because guess what? Guess guess what we see every few scrolls that we on TikTok or Instagram? A tarot card reader, a spiritualist, a a, a voodoo worker, a reiki worker, uh uh all of them. Like they are bold about what they do and they're bold about their spirituality. So God is like Y'all be bold about me. Be bold about my uh, my calling that I put on your life. Be bold about my will for your life. Be bold about the assignment I gave you. Like, 
this is like it's literally a war good versus evil and so he's like y'all need to start taking it more seriously they are teachers who are literally witches who are coming up against our babies okay my kids are not participating in halloween and have not participated they are never going to participate okay in jesus name I stopped years ago in Jesus' name. Like, I know we want to, oh, it's just a costume. Oh, it's just candy. No, no. Like, literally, God put on my spirit Um, literally like a couple of months ago. I was about to get ready to eat some candy. He said, no, it's poison. I was like, wait, what? And so, me being rebellious, I say, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe not even like... 10 minutes later, my stomach was in knots about to eat a because I ate a Starburst candy. I have never had a stomach ache due to candy. And I was like, you know what? Okay, you're right. So guess what I did? Went in that closet and dumped out all of that candy. And guess who it was from? Teachers from the school, students from the school, students uh, who gave my child candy because it was their birthday. No, absolutely not. Because I don't know what them kids at her school parents be doing. I don't know them. And I'm not even about to play with it. Like, hey, I know people be like, why are you taking it so serious? Because it is that serious. You got kids, parents who are witches. And they be like, go pass this out to your, your friends at the school. Child, please. No. Not mine. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. So, how do you fight against that? You put on the full armor of God. You plead the blood of Jesus. You anoint your home. And you go get, pray Psalm 91 over you and your household. Get you some olive oil. Pray Psalm 91 over. Anoint your baby's head. Anoint your head. Anoint your doors and windows. Every single day, you come in and out your door because you come into agreement with certain people every day. And so, you need to anoint your house every day. You need to anoint your kids every day. You need to pray over them. Have them say prayers on their way to school. Anoint their backpacks and everything. Like, this is, this is for real. Witches, they for real about their spirituality. God is like, stand up and be real about me. And stand up and be real about what I what I called y'all to do. Which is pray and fight. Because them witches, they doing it and without a care in the world. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who offended. They don't. So, God is like, I need y'all to have the same energy, children. So, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. And God loves you. And I pray that y'all have an amazing day or night. Bye.